If you want to see the chaotic process that helped me go from this lovely living room to this spicy jungle, then simply keep on watching. I love it. I love it. You guys, I'm a builder. I can do it. Yes, like Bob the Builder, can he fix it? Yes. Yes, he can. say the worst person in the world but one of first of all look at my study look at my study look at this look at this mess you guys I just did a video I just did a video of tidying my study second of all look what's just arrived look what's just arrived oh god forgive me Okay, just look. It's an electric fireplace. And you might be wondering, Sarah, why do you need an electric fireplace? <sighs> and I would say that's a really good question. I don't know what else to tell you apart from the fact that two weeks ago, I became obsessed. And it is genuine obsession. Obsessed with the idea of having an electric fireplace. As soon as I got that big TV, and it wouldn't fit on this stand. I was like, I need to get rid of that stand and get a fireplace and mount the TV. Do you know what else I decided? I needed a drying machine. And I don't regret this because I've wanted to get one for the last year and I just haven't. But my clothes were just not drying. Now that the temperature's dropped, my clothes were like, I'd have to wash them, hang them out to dry and then they'd have that smell on them and then I'd have to wash them again. And so I was like, I'll just buy a dryer. Which brings me to, the next scene, which is this, my new dryer and all this stuff that I need to somehow clear out. I feel like I did everything at once. So this feeling of overwhelm is kind of funny. I also have a date in two hours and look at me, fresh as the day I was born. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's just that the, the, the fireplace arrived and I wasn't emotionally prepared for it. I actually opened the door to leave the house because I was gonna pop to Argos to return a camera that I bought. And there was just this massive, massive, it was as tall as me, this massive fireplace. And now I'm like, I need to do, <laughs> I need to do something about it. And I do, I do need to do something about it and I will. I'm going to do something about it. Did I do something about it? No, no, I mean, come on. You saw how shook I was. I procrastinated for the rest of the day and just sat there feeling overwhelmed. But the next day I got up early and by early I mean like 12 p.m. and I went to B&Q to get some bits, so yeah. The flat has been a mess for too long. I need to just sort this out today. Basically, my brother moved, gave me his TV that's bigger than the TV I have at the moment. So I was like, cool, the big TV can go in the living room because it looks amazing. But then when I tried to put it in, the TV was too big for my current TV stand. Now I've been wanting to replace the TV stand since I moved in. I do not love it. It was here, one of the few things that was here when I moved in. So I was like, this is the perfect excuse. So I was looking at TV stands and then I saw this TV stand with like a fire within the TV and I was like, that's weird, but it's cool that there's a fire. And then I just stepped into this world of electric fireplaces. And oh my goodness, that world does not end. I was stalking, searching, non-stop electric fireplaces. I almost bought one off Amazon for like 600 pounds. And then I was like, no, that's expensive. And my sister was like, Sarah, don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous, darling. So I found an affordable one. Now it wasn't quite everything I wanted. I really wanted um, one with like a tile effect or like a cement effect. I wanted it to be bigger. I've settled, I'm okay with the size, but I am gonna just try and scramp it up. So essentially I've realized that actually I got a wall mountable fireplace, but in the place I wanna put it, 
you can't mount it because the wall's not flat, it's got plugs behind it. So what I need to do is prop it up because in order to use it, it can't be on the floor, it has to be at least 30 centimeters above the floor. It just doesn't look good on the floor. So what I wanna try and do is create a mix between two fireplaces that I absolutely loved. I've been to B&Q this morning, I need to just sort this out today. This is the living room at the moment. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. We've got the box that the fireplace came in. I mean, it's still gorgeous. The box that the fireplace came in. We've got all the stuff I've picked up today. We've got the fireplace. We've got the TV and the big TV, the sound bar, yada, yada. I went to a number of different stores today in order to find exactly what I wanted. What I did was I measured the depth of the fireplace and I got some options. This is option number one. It's from Home Bargains. They're just two little boxes um, that the fireplace can sit on. They were pretty cheap actually. They were like maybe three pounds each. They're wooden boxes and it actually feels quite sturdy. So the plan with these would be to um, cover it. So I'm gonna cover it in like a plaster material to get like a textured effect. And also cover up that handle. You can see the handle there, I would cover that up. I was thinking maybe I'd need to screw the fireplace down, but it's not too bad. What I will do is set up each option and let you see what it looks like. And also so that I can see what it looks like. Um, it's so ridiculous that I got three different options because looking at that now, I feel like I'm happy with it. <laughs> but given that I got three different options, I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, the other thing that I've got is some DC fix. So it's some like marbling sticky paper that I'm gonna apply to the gray bit of the fireplace because I just don't love the gray to be completely honest. So I'm gonna try and do that too. Uh, what should I start with? I should probably start with the marbling because that will affect what I choose, you know, what I want on the bottom half, right? Oh, and I'm gonna keep some logs under here which I think will look really cute. Okay, I'll start with the marbling. Easiest job measuring ever. I messed it up so bad, so I'm starting again. And this time I'm going to measure it out because clearly that did not work. So, and I've actually got a proper kit for it. I don't know why I wasn't using the proper kit, but I do have a proper kit. The little slicer as well, so that should be handy. That was hard. That was hard, and it's not even perfect. Like, oh my gosh, there's so many ripples. Why are there so many ripples just popping up? Wonderful, but I mean it doesn't look too terrible. It looks kind of bad. I'll probably redo this at some point. Look now and see the different options for what it sits on. Um, so these are the other ones that I bought. Really similar, but just a little bit lower, slightly different look. you prefer I actually kind of like that I like the fact that you can see I like the lines it doesn't look that fireplace -y. maybe I should turn it on so I can see what it looks like as a fireplace How cute oh I'm so excited for this oh my gosh I love the marble I love the marble when it's on that is very sweet sweet okay now to try the bricks this will take a little bit longer bear with me got like I don't even know if they're bricks but they're like concrete <laughs> slabs they were £2.30 each they're from B&Q and they are so heavy heavy I got 18 of them because that's what I figured I would need um now these aren't as easy to lay and move they're so heavy I'm not going to be able to just drag them like the boxes so I'm just going to dismount everything and build the bricks where I would want them to be first 
I lay the bricks in the right place so that it's all central and if I do choose this option I don't have to move it all because that would be gutting. And I'm going to put some cardboard so that if I need to move it it'll be a bit easier and also to reduce any floor damage hopefully. Prevent any at all. So that goes there. So heavy. Okay, one side done. <gasps> oh my God. that as I stepped back to check the camera. I love it. I love it. You guys, I'm a builder. What do you think? Do you like it? I really like that. I have this kind of like fill, this grout that could go in between, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Not just that, sorry, not that's not the filler. This filler. Um, I'm not sure I want to do that anymore because I quite like the fact that I can take it apart, move it quite easily. But what I think I might actually do with this is use it on the marble because looking at the marble, to be quite honest, I don't know, it just looks a little bit like it's really pretty and I've got like marble on my table but it just looks a little bit tacky to me. Now I don't know if that's because I know that I've done it wrong and the mistakes just annoy me but it just looks a bit tacky. So I'm wondering if I can use some of this purpose fill and spread it over to give that cement effect, then maybe it'll be perfect. The DC fix can be like a base layer to make sure nothing goes wrong, you know what I mean? Oh my God, thank God, I'm so excited. Oh, and the other thing that I wanted to do as well was to put logs and I bought some logs, some actual logs to put them under there so the wires and everything will be hidden, it'll be fine and also because it's a little bit forward, it's not actually anchored against the wall there's plenty of space to hide, hide wires so really pleased about that oh I'm so pleased, it's looking great okay what shall I do next? I'll, I'll try out the fill thing, I'll see how it looks I'll do a test patch and we'll go from there I've got a little scrap piece of the DC fix and what I'll do is I'll stick that on some cardboard, tilt it down so you can see me, I'll stick that on some cardboard and I'll do a test patch just to see, just to see if I like it, see if it applies well, that kind of thing. So I got this from Home Bargains, it was like two pounds. Do I want that on it instead of the marble? I think I might. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to do it because the marbling, I just don't love. I've not done a good job of laying the DC fix and I'm going to, even though no one else might know, I know it and I don't like that. So I'm just going to use that as a base and I'm going to grant it. Cool. Decision made. Yay. <laughs> yes. Yes. <gasps> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I did put on some protective tape um, so that I wouldn't get it everywhere and I'm so glad I did that. I'm very much learning that being lazy is just never the answer, like just make that extra effort. And what I love about this is that I will be able to take it off so easily if I ever get sick of it I can just peel off the adhesive. All looking really good I'm very pleased I'm very shiny because I've been focused um, but the place is still a mess so I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the log oh. 
real logs from B&Q and um, because I quite like the smell of them actually and also just to give that really authentic look I saw it on one of the faux fire places that I wanted to buy that one was actually not too expensive but it was just really short it wasn't long enough like ideally I wanted this fireplace to go like all the way along but it's fine um yeah the other one was like shorter or less wide not as long as my tv and I was like no I don't want that but I did get this design inspo from the way that one of the websites had styled it so let's see if it works I was so excited I probably shouldn't do this yet I should do this when everything's clean and tidy and finished but I'm too excited not to but I also just ordered pizza so I kind of just want to finish this bit and I'm going to let the grout dry and what I think I'm going to do only uh, I know I'm so fussy but it's just looking a little too white right now it's looking very like brilliant white so what I might do is actually paint the grout the same colour as the wall just for some con continuity and I don't want it to be like a clinical room in here you know I see that enough at work so on to the logs food break oh my gosh it looks real I think brick just makes everything look more authentic I'm so excited oh look at that a real crispy one gorgeous gorgeous I don't know what I expected to happen after I had a huge meal and a glass of wine. I'm so tired um, that I have just dragged myself, literally like two seconds ago, dragged myself uh, up off the sofa. I'm so full and sleepy. I'm sleepy. I'm going to sleep so well tonight. Um, and I have installed these lights. Um, they were from Home Bargains for like a few pounds. And they are so good. They're super bright. So you need three batteries. They come with a stick on pad. So you literally just peel that and it sticks to the surface. Excuse my dirty nails. I've been a builder today. Um, and as you can see, I was watching some modern family, but as you can see, look at those lights. Now the one issue is that, well, it's not an issue. It's actually a really good thing. Um, it comes with a remote. Now, I say it's an issue because I have so many remotes. As you can see, there are two different light settings. I think I'll go, oh, actually I'll go for the brighter one. I thought I'd go for the dimmer one, but it's all taking shape. I'm just gonna wait for the um, thingy to dry. Oh, and another thing that I love about this fireplace is that it also comes with this app that you can control it with. So you can go on the app, put the temperature on, change the fire brightness, I can put it less bright or more bright. I don't know if that's the right term. I can also change the downlight color so I can turn off the downlights. So I can put a timer on. Um, so there's loads of different like. I mean, it's not the best app. It's a little bit hard to use, but but it is fun. And then I can change the colour of the flames as well. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I will link it down below. So if you want it, let me know. So I had initially been obsessed with mounting my TV on the wall, but then really luckily I found this TV stand on Amazon that was amazing and when it arrived sorry for my presentation I honestly was just not feeling great that day that's the reason I was in joggers and dressing gowns until midday um but I set it up all by myself and I mounted the tv by myself this is a 55 inch tv so I do not recommend trying that at home it was me just fed up with the living room being a mess and just going for it as you can see the shock on my face when it actually went really well um but yeah I hung it all up myself and it actually felt really stable and I of the fact that you can swivel it to point it to different sides so when I'm kind of cooking in the kitchen I can still have the tv playing if I want um so yeah I did have to dismantle everything again but I was so happy as you can see <laughs> I'm so happy yay 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 oh amazing 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 so now I just want to plug in the fire 
fireplace. This has worked out, it's so funny, this has worked out so much better than mounting the TV because hiding the plugs is so much easier. Like, so much easier, it's ridiculous. Are you ready for the grand unveiling? Without further ado, I will present to you the finished product. Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think? I love it, I love it so much. It's super cozy. I've had so many evenings in here just like cuddled up with a Christmas film. You might have seen, if you follow me on TikTok, you might have seen one uh, TikTok where I'd had you know, half a glass of wine, maybe, maybe a gin and tonic. Um, but yeah, it's so cozy and cute. I absolutely love it. There have been days actually when it's been quite cold in here and I've used that for heating because it's basically directly at where you're gonna be at. So the heat kind of comes out and down rather than like up. So the TV is absolutely fine. As you can see, if you come around the side, there is a bit of a gap between the wall and the plugs, but I personally really like that because it means that I can plug things, move things around very easily, and all of the wires are hidden so well. Also, this stand is like movable, so I can tilt it back and forth, which is just perfect. Yeah, you can't see a single wire, and it really gives the floating TV effect. When I first used this, I was just like, oh my goodness, this stand is amazing and it goes so well with the fireplace. I'm so happy with how it all turned out. Yeah, I love it. I love it from all angles. It's so pretty. Let me show you with like the mood lighting. This is like my, I want to watch a film and cozy up lighting. a bit closer up. I really like the way, <gasps> just kidding. <laughs> I really like the way the bed lights up to make it look hot. Arranging the logs the way I wanted them was actually so much harder than I thought. I'm really happy with the texturing of this. It came out so, so pretty. And what I love about it as well is that at the back, I can probably show you because it's up off the wall, but if you can see, that's like the paper that I stuck down on it. So if I wanted to get rid of this, if I changed my mind, I can literally just peel it off, which I love. It's so, so good as well. If I wanted to like sell it on or if it broke and I needed to return it, I can at least get it back to its original condition. And this is renter friendly, you guys. A renter friendly fireplace. Are you kidding? Like I didn't have to drill the wall for any of this. I've literally just placed stuff and it's super stable. That has been like that for, Maybe, maybe a month. If you want more renter friendly DIY and interior design hacks, then let me know because I rent this place and I have furnished it and completely transformed it to how it was from when I moved in. And I love it. I'm so grateful and so proud of this space. It makes me want to like be an interior designer, but then I'm like, Sarah, you're already trying to be a lot of things right now. Maybe just stick to being a doctor slash actress slash fitness coach slash all round bad B. Um, but yeah, genuinely, if you do want some more like house, oh my gosh, this camera is so heavy. If you want some more house decor stuff, like those windowsills, the arch mirror with the, I say windowsill, with the little thing on it, I was so proud of that. And it reflects the windows. So during the day, they're like actual windows. That's my number one home decor hack, by the way. Um, always put a mirror opposite a window because then you just get two windows. Anyway, chestnuts are roasting by an open fire with kids from one to ninety two. I don't know the words, but you get what I'm saying. You can't roast nothing on this fire, but you could roast on the candles and pretend it's on the fire. You could roast your marshmallows in somebody else's house, cause I'm still renting, hey, so it's electric for now, electric fire, electric. 
electric fire. Mm-hmm. Just not roasting on an open fire. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. Um, I gotta go. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video. all I have to say I love it let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions if you want like an in-depth on just the fireplace how it works all that jazz all the details like sat down with a detailed video rather than this ridiculous sing-along this absolutely messy what am I doing video then let me know but even that said I will put links to everything mentioned in the description box of this video. I love you so much. I love you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.